Well, this should have been the year that Bombardier's biggest ever gamble paid off. The company's new small airliner was due to enter service and take on Boeing and Airbus, but it's been delayed again. And analysts are questioning whether the orders will ever come. Joining me, Bombardier CEO uh, Pierre Badouin. Um, good to see you again, Pierre. Good to um, see you. It's been, a, it's been a tough year. Uh, we'll come on to the C-Series in just, in just a moment. But what's this week for you? Is it about doing deals? Is it about doing deals uh, on the infrastructure side? Well, it's about relationship. I have customers from uh, world leaders to uh, pe people that represent cities, uh, airlines are here, and of course, private aircraft owners also. Um, let's talk about the C-Series. We've got, we've got to do that. Um, investors are clearly worried about your cash position. Investors are worried about the series. Uh, investors are worried we're going to see further delays. Investors are worried that, that, uh, that, that the Boeings are going to steal a march. Um, what do you say to those worried investors? Well, it's a big program. Uh, we've been developing the aircraft for five years. We're into flight tests now, so I'd say from a development perspective, we're really in the execution phase where, where I think most of the risk was in the development. The aircraft is very well accepted. We have 198 orders. We've given a, ourselves a target to be at 300 orders before uh, first delivery, so we're almost there. What do you make of the sector? I think it's a good sector. Uh, you had you had a big downturn after the crisis, but people are activities uh, picking up, and, and activity generates you know needs to be everywhere, and, and these planes are great planes. But how how and, and I'll put this to you, Steve, and then I want to hear what you say, Pierre. How, how how does Bombardier win back the trust of investors in a in a in a climate like this, and given these delays that we're seeing? Well, you saw the issues with Boeing. I mean, Boeing really dipped down when they had their issues. Boeing's a great company as well, and they came back. Bombardier has been making planes for years. So, so you know, people are used to seeing the fact that this is a very complex industry. It's very complex to get these planes out. But what they really want is a great quality plane, and they're doing the right thing, okay, I think, so, taking the time to build it. Okay, so you're giving them the benefit. Right. You're giving them the benefit <laughs> of the doubt, Steve, right? Yeah. You're giving them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Are, are investors going to give you the benefit of the doubt? Yeah, I'd just like to add also that if you look at our development program, we're actually a year and a half to two years shorter than the programs you spoke about. So our program is, is doing well in terms of development. It takes a little bit longer, but it's got to be done right. We'll be delivering this aircraft for the next 20 to 25 years. When's it going to come into service? I mean, is it late summer? Is that, is, are we on we're track saying, for that? Uh, mid, uh, we're saying second half of 2015. From a news perspective as well, I should mention, you, you just announced, I think, what, 17, 1800 job cuts. Is that it, or are we, gonna, are we likely to see more? Well, we've seen a lot of growth since 2008. We've added about 5,000 jobs, even during a recession time, because we're investing into our future. We decided to make an adjustment now more from an efficiency perspective. Uh, I feel now that we're looking at growth uh, both in business aircraft and commercial aircraft, and definitely in the train business. What about... Ground track. Sorry, Steve. You which which one of those markets do you see growing faster, the business or the commercial? I know the business really took a setback in, in 2007, 8, 9, but I, but I see it kind of coming back, seeing all the companies using these planes. Is that coming back faster than commercial? Yeah, there's more and more global companies that are investing in, in corporate airplane to make sure that they can connect and see their customers across the world. We, in the large aircraft, we've seen a comeback already. In fact, it didn't really slow down after 2008, large business aircraft. But what we're seeing now is the smaller business aircraft uh, come back as the economy comes back in the U.S. Can, can, can ground transport and the ground transport units make up for the lost revenue on the aerospace side? Well, it's half of uh, Bombardier's revenue. It's right. growing. Uh, there's a lot of investment in infrastructure, and I think this is a good growth area. Which for us. last year you, you told me you, you, it's a great opportunity to us to speak to country leaders about infrastructure projects. Right. Um, where, where is your greatest hope right now in terms of infrastructure? And let me ask you this with Steve sitting next to you. Is America finally going to get serious about rail investment? Well, you asked me a growth. Uh, we just announced a big contract in, in Australia, in Queensland, uh, $2.8 billion, big infrastructure project. Uh, there's, more, there's more going on in Asia, of course. Uh, in, in the U.S., we're seeing a replacement of systems that are aging. We just announced a big, a big uh, order in, uh, in San Francisco. Uh, just modernizing the fleet of metros there. So I think America is serious about uh, transit in the cities. All right, Pierre, going to have to stop it. Thanks a lot for coming in today. Pierre Baudouin.